What's up coach? Keep watching this video if you want three ways to get your team competing. Alright coach, you're looking for ways to get your team competing and I got you covered. Lined up just for you are three of my favorite competition drills. Now the reason why you want your team to compete, first of all, it sets the tone for practice. You want them to know that even though it's not a game, you're going to come out here and work hard and try to be the very best in every single thing you do today. The reason why you want to do that is because it brings out the best. Trust me, competition only makes your players better, stronger, faster, and quicker. Um, and lastly, most of these drills, most drills can be competitive. Um, they don't have to involve a whole lot of banging, a whole lot of hitting. You can compete with your drills. You can compete with your sprints. Everything can be competitive. These are just three of my favorite ones. So first up is the ring drill. Now you see where we borrowed this video from Navy. It's just a real simple circle, um, big hoop. Now you're probably thinking, yeah, coach, I don't have that. It's okay. You can make a circle out of players, just like how they have lined up right behind them. Okay. You get two guys lined up. You notice that they are not far apart. They're very close. You'll see hopefully, um, or maybe a couple linemen lo um, locked up as well. Um, you can put them in a three or a four point stance. The only thing I would make sure that you do is you kind of line them up based upon either skill or size. Typically when I do this drill, I'll have the linemen off in one section and I'll have the backs off in another. Okay. And the goal is simply this, the winner, because this is a competition, the winner is the man who drives the other person out of the ring or puts them on their back. Let's watch. Another great part about this drill is you have an opportunity to reinforce and to teach some other skills. So if you're working with your linemen on keeping their feet wide, having a wide base, this is a great opportunity to do this. If you're working with your line again, or maybe some blocking running backs, who need to be able to replace their hands when someone gains inside leverage on them. You can do this. Uh, this is a great opportunity for you to get in there and teach them or to repeat to them. Hey, hands inside, replace your hands, replace your hands, keep your feet wide. Okay. Now, another great thing that you can do with this drill is let's say that there's some inner squad beef. It gives you an opportunity to really work that out. Now we see here, like I said, the drill is over when somebody ends up outside the ring or on their back, or in that case, both. Okay. Now, Southern California Pride Drill. This is another one that I like, and we'll see this here. Um, so I'm gonna pause the video here. So you see the ball is lined up on the three yard line. It's got a step over pad, a football. You have the offensive um, ball carry on this side, defender over here. There's the goal line. Another realistic, great competition drill because guess what happens? This is very lifelike. This is very game like. As a defender, you're going to have to stop somebody from scoring. As an offensive player, your job is to score. Now let's see what happens. You can't dance. Everything's real tight. Once again, you see the team is all around them. And I want you to see how energetic and enthusiastic they are. Um, what the coaches have probably done is tied some type of punishment, maybe some extra conditioning or something um, based upon who wins or loses this drill. What I like about here is offense versus defense, best out of three. This coach is going to blow a whistle, then they're going to go. Once again, see all this excitement, really get your team pumped up and ready to go. Last one here. See who makes it. Uh, offense wins that one. All right. Offense wins two versus one. Once again, a lot of energy, a lot of excitement, a lot of enthusiasm coming from your team. And these are all things that you really want to build, that you really want to get your team going. Lastly, UCLA Pride Alley, okay? Now, I run this a little bit different than what they do here. So they have uh, a block air, defender, ball carrier, and another ball carrier. Typically, what I do is I extend the length I'll put a offensive lineman and a defensive lineman. 
then I'll add my wide receiver and cornerback or maybe another running back and a linebacker. Um, and then back here, um, there's another set, another pair. Um, what they're doing here is they're actually, there's a coach behind the defender who is actually holding the defender back. And then once he gets to a certain yard, yard marker, he lets them go. Um, I like to see them kind of engage and block a little bit longer and see who's going to shed that block. All right, let's see what we got here. coming in and once again the goal is to score right the goal is to score so let's see who can actually run through these tackles let's see who can make tackles oh live ball you hop on and once again this is a very game like drill because once again if that ball hits the ground we need any and everybody to hop on it but like we see here all this energy all this enthusiasm all this the all of these are things that you really want to have from your team all right, coach, thank you for watching this video. Like I always say about this time, if you found this to be helpful, please subscribe to this channel. I promise to keep giving you a video every Thursday to help you and your team change the game of middle school football. We'll holla.